Happening here, it's the tale that's as old as time. And it's about to hit the stage at the Providence Performing Arts Center. But before the curtains go up, we're taking you behind the scenes for a sneak peek. Something special! It's the classic story of a seductress disguised as an old beggar woman who offers a young prince a rose in exchange for a night shelter. When he turns her away, she turns him into an ugly beast. And the only way that he can turn back into a handsome prince is to fall in love and someone love him back before all the petals of the rose that she gave him falls off. If not, he will remain a beast forever. Uh, number one is probably going to be shot. Before we get to more of the pageantry, we must first get to the hundred of man hours that it takes to transform the PPAC stage. One green one here. Into the fantasy that is beauty and the beast. So you go from equipment to the shop prep, to the rehearsal period, to the, to the load-in period, and uh, it all magically comes together. And it begins with Gaston, who has his romantic intentions on the female star of the show, Belle. He's something of an egomaniacal, misogynistic antagonist. How about that? Uh, he's, he's uh, you know, he's your typical male chauvinist, and uh, he is very, very, very full of himself. Belle, who plays the Beast's reluctant love interest, is portrayed by Liv Shrivner and talks about preparing for such a well-known musical. We did a lot of work in rehearsals. We were lucky enough to have um, the original Broadway creative team as well as Linda Wolverton, who wrote the movie and wrote this, what we are doing, um, which was incredibly informative. And then there is Chip, a teapot that comes to life inside the Beast Castle. They're played by two eight-year-olds, Reese Diaz and Jeremiah Birch. Chip is like the son of Mrs. Potts. Uh, he is like eight to... He's, he's supposed to be eight years old. He's this really nice boy that... He, he's just excited to be human again at the end. And he's really lovable. If you've never seen the musical, I won't spoil it for you, except to say that sometimes what you see in a mirror has nothing to do with what lies in one's heart. And did you see Teapot there wearing one of Ben's vests? <laughs> the national tour of Beauty and the Beast kicks off at PPAC on February 9th. For ticket information, head to foxprovidence.com. I could tell.